What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today I wanted to take a deeper look at the sliding in Modern Warfare 2, and I was mainly just curious to see the difference between sliding in Modern Warfare 2 compared to sliding in Modern Warfare 2019, because even if we exclude the slide cancel mechanic for Modern Warfare 2019, I just feel like sliding in Modern Warfare 2 is essentially a useless mechanic. There is almost no utility to it. And even with the minor buffs they've been giving sliding, like a little bit of an increase to the acceleration, it still feels just as useless. And I wanted to take a deeper look at this to see exactly why this is and why sliding was so much more useful in Modern Warfare 2019, again, even if we exclude slide cancelling from the equation. Now just one thing to address before we get into this, I know a lot of people tend to see these videos as me complaining about things or whining about things. But this is really more so just out of curiosity. I'm always fascinated by game mechanics and breaking them down and taking a deep look at them. And this is a topic that's been on my mind, so I wanted to make a video about it. And diving right in, the primary difference I was noticing with the sliding in Modern Warfare 2 versus Modern Warfare 2019 is the slide to fire delay. So when you initiate a slide, how long does it take to come out of that slide and fire your gun? So I went ahead and did the testing with this in Modern Warfare 2, and the initial assumption that I had here is that this would be in some way tied to the sprint to fire time of your gun. So if you're using like a pistol or an SMG for instance with a faster sprint out time, you would then get a faster slide to fire time than something like an LMG that has a really slow sprint out time by default. So what I did here is I tested a good handful of weapons from different weapon categories, and I was really surprised to find that this slide to fire value doesn't change at all depending on the gun that you're using. You can compare a pistol to an LMG and you're going to have the exact same slide to fire time at roughly 520 milliseconds. To top that off, this initial testing was done with a regular slide out of a standard sprint. And I also wanted to test this with a tactical sprint. If you tactical sprint into a slide, I thought that you would have a slower slide to fire time. But again, my assumption here was wrong and our slide to fire time is exactly the same. Again, at right around 520 milliseconds. Then to test this a little bit further, I took all of those same guns and I created a sprint out build that's designed to give you the fastest possible sprint out time with that gun. And this had zero impact on your slide to fire time. No matter what, it's gonna take you 520 milliseconds coming out of a slide in order to fire your gun. And as far as I've been able to test, there is no way of changing that time at all. So then the next step was to head over to Modern Warfare 2019, because I wanted to see how this stacks up and how it's changed since then, if at all. And again, all of this testing is done without the slide cancel mechanic from Modern Warfare 2019. I wanted an apples to apples comparison since there is no option to slide cancel in Modern Warfare 2. And again, I took a good handful of guns spread across multiple weapon categories. And what I found here is the slide to fire time in Modern Warfare 2019 is 350 milliseconds. And again, I was pretty surprised to see that increasing your sprint out speed, for instance, generally won't have an impact on your slide to fire time. Now, there are a couple exceptions here. What I noticed is if the sprint out time of your gun that you're using was slower than that 350 milliseconds, then that sprint out time would supersede the slide to fire time. So like with an assault rifle, for instance, our tactical sprint out time is 400 milliseconds by default. If you were to tactical sprint and then slide and then come out of that slide, it would take you 400 milliseconds now instead of 350. But if you put attachments on to improve your sprint out time, so now it's lower than 350 milliseconds, then the slide to fire time takes over again. And now we're gonna slide to fire at 350. So hopefully that makes sense and that wasn't too complicated. But for most of the guns in the game, especially the ones that are mobile, our slide to fire time is 350 milliseconds compared to the much slower 520 milliseconds in Modern Warfare 2. And I honestly think this is one of the biggest reasons that sliding in Modern Warfare 2 is generally not a good mechanic. The only times where I really feel like sliding is super useful is if you're trying to get away from a fight, if you're trying to like slide around a corner. And then often in those situations, you're probably better off diving. That makes you an even harder target to hit in my experience if you're trying to just get behind cover as fast as possible. But yeah, this really does explain why that utility of sliding as an aggression tool is just no longer viable in this game because 520 milliseconds is significantly slower than the average time to kill of the guns in this game in close quarter situations. That average time to kill hovers right around the 200 millisecond mark, of course, depending on the gun. Some kill faster, some kill slower. But if an enemy can kill you almost three times over before you can even fire a shot while sliding, of course, that's gonna make sliding essentially useless as an aggressive tool. 
Now, I think this is where there's a lot of room for debate as to whether or not sliding should be used as an aggressive tool or if it should just be used as an evasive tool. And at the end of the day, it just really comes down to what the developers want in their game. I can definitely see merit in both sides of the argument there. But I did want to share my personal thoughts on this. I do think there is a middle ground to be found here. I don't think sliding should be so powerful as an aggressive technique that you're just seeing people sliding all over the place because that's simply the best option all the time. And I was somebody that even as a more aggressive player, I wasn't really in favor of the slide cancel technique in Modern Warfare 2019. Of course, I used it all the time because it was the best technique available. And also without slide canceling, I feel like that game may have played way too slow. But at the same time, I would like to see just a little more utility out of this mechanic in Modern Warfare 2. And I'd like for it to at least be useful in some situations because as of right now, like I said, I just don't see really any utility at all to sliding. And I also do find it quite strange that there's no variation between the types of weapons and how long it takes to fire your gun out of a slide. I definitely think when coming out of a slide, a pistol should be able to shoot faster than an LMG. Now as to what I feel that slide to fire value should be, honestly I do think somewhere around that 350 to 400 millisecond mark that we saw in Modern Warfare 2019, I feel like that's appropriate, assuming that they also keep slide cancel out of it, because in that case you're still going to be experiencing a much slower slide to fire time than the sprint to fire time of your gun, and also it's still going to be much slower than the average time to kill of the guns in the game, so there definitely is still a trade off to sliding instead of just like sprinting into a gunfight for instance. And another thing to factor in here is they've already got it built into the game where if you're sliding and trying to fire your gun, you're going to be quite inaccurate with that. Your hip fire spread will increase massively, and therefore even if you are able to fire your gun, it's not like you're fighting back super effectively, you're just at least getting the chance of getting some bullets on target and maybe giving you the ability to win that gunfight. So that's where I stand with this. I don't think sliding into a gunfight should be the absolute best option all the time, but I'd love to see it be just a bit more viable than it currently is in Modern Warfare 2. And I think improving this slide to fire time by a small margin would lead to a little bit more variety in gameplay options. I think you'd also see a reduction in the jump shotting that it seems many people absolutely hate to be seeing all the time. And I think an increase to this variety of options and how to play the game would also add a little more depth to the game. Now, of course, these are all just my thoughts on this, and I'm really curious to hear where you guys stand in the comments down below. Do you think sliding as an aggressive tool should be more viable than it currently is in Modern Warfare 2? Or are you happy with it as is? Or maybe do you want it to be even slower and more punishing to be sliding? And also, do you think the type of weapon that you have in your hand should have an impact on how long it takes to fire your gun after a slide? Do you think a pistol should be equal to an LMG or not so much? Just let me know all of those thoughts down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.